You're listening to 30 Pounds Down, where losing weight is simplified with healthy habits. I'm Glenda Hill, a nurse turned holistic nutritionist. Let's go to the show. Hey, Faith sister. It's a fact that the last few pounds take a little longer to get rid of. Today, I share five strategies, and they're all inspired by the concept of keeping life simple with an emphasis on connecting with nature. Have you ever noticed the sun rises in the morning and sets in the evening? Well, that's God being faithful and loving toward all the inhabitants of the earth. So that teaches us that God has made provisions for us to manage stress and to be free of all the reasons why we lose self-control and gain excess weight. So you may ask, well, how does this help me lose excess weight, especially the last few pounds? Well, the answer is in nature. The same laws that govern nature comes to us by God. And when we obey the laws of our being, our hormones stay balanced and all the functions of the body work as designed, all in harmony with God's will for us to be healthy and happy, living life and enjoying freedom from the cravings and all the other types of bondage. So the five strategies that I have for you today will enable you to overcome modern weight loss obstacles. And I say modern because the weight loss obstacles a few generations ago were not the same as what we have to deal with today. This is why Many of the weight loss methods don't work for sustainable weight loss. Diet and exercise used to work, but those methods are outdated. What you need to lose the last few pounds and to maintain a healthy weight is to deal with the modern weight loss obstacles. So let's talk about those. And then I'm going to give you the five strategies to overcome them and to lose the weight that you desire, okay? So the modern weight loss obstacles, one of them is the high processed foods that we are bombarded with, right? They're low in nutrition and they're high in calories, calories that don't have any nutrition. So we want to eat more whole foods that are high in nutrition and naturally low in calories. And of course, these are the foods that are outlined in Genesis 129, fruits and vegetables, whole grains, nuts and seeds, and herbs, okay? All right, so another obstacle is something that definitely is pretty modern, and that is the screen time lifestyle. So we're sitting too much. It's not natural for us to sit all day looking at computer screens. I know we live in a tech-driven world, but that lifestyle is an obstacle to weight loss. So the next one is low exposure to natural light and nature. God did not intend for us to stay indoors all day. We need time outdoors, connecting with nature for stress relief and to balance our hormones. Okay, so now I reveal the five strategies to overcome those modern weight loss obstacles and for you to achieve your healthy weight with simplicity, okay? So the first strategy is to reduce the toxicity, right? Smartphones and computer screens, they emit blue light and that disrupts your body's circadian rhythm. And that causes you to have poor sleep quality. And anytime you have poor sleep, that's going to link to weight gain. So instead of using your phone, your smartphone as your Bible, get your Bible out and actually read from the pages of the Bible. And that way you're not using your smartphone for that task or that for that study time. Okay. And Buy recipe books instead of using your smartphone as a recipe book. We need to find ways to move away from dependence on the smartphones and the computer screens. All right. And I hope I've given you a couple of ideas. All right. Now, the next strategy is taking a break from being indoors. 
because when we take the time to go outdoors, we have a chance to look up at the beautiful sky and feel the warm sunshine on our face. And that contributes to weight loss. Yes, it does. You'd be amazed how much you can learn from nature if you just watch the animals and pay attention to how they live. And you'll see that your life, my life, how we all fit into this bigger picture of God's creation is going to reduce the stress in our life. And we're going to see life from a different perspective. Okay. We need that. Strategy number three is spend at least 10 minutes in natural light. This is going to boost your mood and reduce stress. And I know that not everyone can get outdoors, but just by standing or sitting by the window that has plenty of natural light coming in, that's going to benefit your mood, your sleep, and reduce stress. What's more amazing to me is if you can spend at least 20 to 30 minutes a day in this natural light, you'll have better appetite control. Yeah. And this has been scientifically proven. So I hope that you will spend more time getting natural light. I hope you can see, my friend, that God, in his wisdom, he wanted us to spend more time outdoors. He knows what the body needs. He knows what our minds and emotions need in order to be healthy and happy. All right, strategy number four is give your body a higher level of nutrition. And that's going to stop cravings and emotional eating. So by cooking at home, you can add more nutrition to your meals. And the best way to do that is your cooking method. Make sure that you're not cooking the nutrients out of your food. You retain the nutrients, which really goes into my next strategy is planning nutritious meals. That's strategy number five. So if you get hungry between your meals, you may be lacking good nutrition. That is the number one reason, basically. One of the ways that we can stop the cravings and emotional eating is by giving the body its nutritional need. When we don't meet the need, then we crave. So I want to share with you some of the mistakes people make when they when they're trying to plan nutritious meals. And one mistake is that people focus solely on macronutrients like carbs and proteins and fats while they neglect micronutrients like vitamins and minerals, and especially minerals. People don't pay attention to minerals at all. But your body is not nourished unless you get a variety of nutrients. You need them all. And so the next mistake that people make is that they exclude food groups and especially fiber. And fiber is really essential for us to feel like we're full and to stay full longer, right? So our fiber foods are things like fruits, fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, (laughs) and whole grains. This is what we really need to be able to feel full and satisfied. Okay. And there are other food groups that people ignore or they exclude, but that's not in harmony with God's laws, right? He wants us to eat fruits and vegetables, nuts, grains, seeds, uh, herbs, and he does not want us to ignore or exclude these foods. These are very important and he wants us to eat them for health and happiness. All right. Another mistake people make in planning nutritious meals is that they rely too much on the prepackaged foods. I get it. Prepack is convenient, but along with the convenience, you get high sodium and added sugars and unhealthy fats. That's not how you lose the last 10 pounds. All right, you got to get rid of the pre-packed foods, okay? Don't rely on it so much. I'll put it that way, okay? All right, one more mistake people make when they're planning their meals is that they neglect hydration. Staying hydrated with water 
and including foods that have high water content when you're planning your meals. Don't forget that. It's very important, okay? All right, my friend. Are you ready to lose the last 10 pounds? Well, follow these strategies that I shared with you. Obey the laws of God. Spend time outdoors connecting with nature. All right? Eat the foods of Genesis 129, which are fruits and vegetables, nuts, grains, and seeds, and herbs. Do not exclude any of these foods. They're very important for your health and happiness. And have faith that you will lose those last 10 pounds, the last few pounds that's holding on. Focus more on living a healthy life. All right. Thank you for listening to 30 Pounds Down. Share this episode with a friend and tune in next week for more talk on Christian weight loss, whole health, and strong faith. Peace to you and have a great day.